Welcome back to this episode of Advantage Heating and Cooling uh, at Van HVAC. We're uh, removing this old Lux Air. This thing is uh, this thing's way past its prime. Got a little crispy. It's a little bit too big for the house too. And this was a wonderful install. It worked. Yeah, and we're going to be dropping a liner down because this is all melted. Um, so yeah, welcome back. So here is the old AC. I think this is a... Um, Oh, what is this old energy night or something like that <clears throat> it's old it's over over 25 years old uh probably redo the disconnect i'm gonna put the disconnect hide that wire uh, the way it should be um we'll probably use the cover dealio i pointed that in my last video to kind of cover up that it's a white one so it'll match in nice so and we'll uh, we'll give you some updates throughout the day I have updates. So we got the old one out, got the new one in place. I had to work my voodoo magic on this here. This is the same, this is 22 by 12 or 12 by 22. It's the same size as my elbow. It worked. Um, whoever puts this in, they kind of hacked this up a little bit and I had to do work some voodoo magic on it. I mean, it works. Um, I'm not going to reinvent the wheel. It's it's sealed up. It works. Um, doesn't look that bad. It's nice and straight. It was straighter than it was. I even got my pads underneath my furnace, so that worked out good. Um, so now I got all my measurements for my my metal supply. Um, no flat sides here. Uh, we're an inch in this way and an inch in from the back. So I'm going to go out and fabricate those up. I have updates. Got the liner down finally. And how many, how many of you have seen copper being used for gas, natural gas? In the town we're in Marshall, I've seen us more and more. You know, this, these these houses were built in the 50s. Some are older than that, but a lot of soft copper has been used for gas. 
but leave it in the comment section below if you guys see this in your area i mean this is um yeah it comes in right up there it's uh if i can zoom it in yeah it comes right up with the brass fitting but yeah that's gas and um yeah, I don't think anymore we can use that, but this has been in here for a while. But yeah, leave it in the comment section. So, I forgot to mention we are going to put a humidifier on. Uh, we are. I'm going to mount it here, pipe it in, and put the digital display up here. Um, just the, the only place we have it for room. So, yep, just some updates. Got the AC set. That's all done. Still got to do the vents yet, coming up through and then dropping them down. So... We're just about there. All right, still got to throw our sticker on yet, but uh, we're uh, ready all fired up, heat's running, and uh, got the humidifier installed. Looks very nice. It'll have some moisture in the winter time. And uh, yeah, everything's done. We're gonna let this run for about a minute longer, shut this off, and then we're gonna kick in the AC. Um, Condensate kind of pump, it's all tied in. Everything's sealed. Like I said, new, new liners dropped in, hooked all that up. Nice, clean install. This is in Marshall, Michigan. And let me go, I'll show you the AC. All right, here's the final product. It's up and running. I like these Armstrongs, they're nice and quiet. New disconnect whip, new Titan cover. There's our vent. And as you noticed, we scooted this over a little bit. Um, it was sitting right here. Uh, that way it kind of gives him some extra room. Uh, he just uses this to put his grill in here in the winter time, whatever. It's kind of cleaned it up. Tyler did a good job. So, yeah, we're uh, we're done, and we're going to go on to the next one. And if you got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. It helps the channel out. 
And if you're the one who's smashing that thumbs down, do that twice. That'd be great. See you on the next one.